Welcome to the OC Homestead. I'm Donald, and uh, uh, today we're doing a little bit of chores. But first, we're smoking a brisket. Now, I am not an expert at smoking meats. This is my first time doing a brisket, so hopefully it uh, turns out okay. Uh, I got a temperature probe on it. it. I'm smoking it on charcoal, so. I know that's like expert level stuff there, so eh, we'll find out how it goes. But in the meantime, we gotta go buy some chicken feed. Well, it's 6 a.m. in the morning. The roosters are crowing. So I guess that means it's time to get up. So, today I am uh, doing something I haven't done before. I am smoking a brisket. Let's see how this goes. For those of you who are experts at this, sorry. OK, 
Okay, now I guess we just let it smoke. To get your kicks on Route 66. All right, we got the chicken scratch, and now we are heading back to the homestead. Right. Well, yeah. Here, pick that up, dump that back in. Pick, just pick that corner up. And I'll dump it back in. Alright, now, open it back up. I'm gonna start getting some out. Now if it won't come in here. Bring it up here. Let's go see Miss Piggy. Hey Miss Piggy. Hey Miss Piggy. So we cut down a couple of cedar trees and trimmed up a couple of cedar trees. There's some big cedar trees on our property that we want to keep because they do look pretty. However, we do know that they are a fire danger. So uh, what we're doing is we're trimming them up as much as possible on the big ones, but all small cedar trees are coming down and we're using a wood chipper and chipping it up and we're using those wood chips to put on um, well, to make compost and stuff like that. So uh, let's get to covering up this uh, uh, poo that's in this pen. It helps with the smell. You know, pigs are actually very clean animals. A lot of people don't realize that. They think, oh, that's a pigsty. But pigs are really clean animals. They have an area where they use the bathroom at. And they have their area where they sleep. And then they have their wallow area and their eating area. And it is all separate. No. Nope. Up. Up. Oh. So that's how you take care of the smell in a pig pen. Checked on the brisket. 
It smells phenomenal. And look who decided to come join the fun. What do you have on? <clears throat> well, I have a nice big straw hat. Got this thrifty apron. It's got multiple pockets. It's even got this, this pocket more reinforced to put like your clippers and stuff in. They don't to tear it. And then these sleeves help protect you against, you know, like when you're working in the garden. It has 50 SPF and little sleeves for your thumbs. And it works really well, for, you know, it also keeps the sun off of you. Um, no plug, because I'm not getting reimbursed or anything, you know, but it's <laughs> This is where I got, and I, I like these sleeves because I put my thumbs and it protects the top of my hands. So. All right, now we're going to quit giving them free advertisement. Yeah, no more. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, let's get to planting some plants. Uh, so, we have bad news. Just a quick tidbit for those that may not be aware. Anytime you get a plant that's in a pot, when you take it out of the pot, always work the bottom root system. Go ahead, lightly break it up, come out, so that way they are able to grow. Because they're you know, compacted in that pot, it can, will make the root system for any pot of plant. Make sure you do that before you plant in the ground, pot, new transplant, etc. There you go. Alright, we're over here in Leah's natural habitat. The garden. She has a green thumb. Or so I thought. Well, I'm sure she does. <laughs> Anyhow, so let's take a look at some of our plants. Those are the sweet 100 tomatoes right over there. And those are supposed to be the beef steaks right there. Some more well, now that plant's doing okay uh, it looks like it's doing okay so here's here's the deal i mean it's growing it's growing tomatoes they're growing tomatoes but they're stunted they're not growing too good they're not growing too good the reason why is because well our dirt is not that good of dirt. Uh, here's a video of Leah, couple, uh, probably back in July. Well, no, yeah, or probably the end of June, she was uh, getting soil samples around the garden. And roll that video down. Hi guys, I'm heading to the garden to get some soil samples. We are wanting to send it off to the OSU, Oklahoma State University Agriculture Extension in Chandler to get the soil tested. This way we can find out why our garden isn't growing the way that it should. It's growing, but not like it can. So we need to find out if, if we have enough lime, not enough lime. The same with nitrogen, which makes plants grow. Phosphorus and potassium, which also produces for the root growth and the flowering. So, um, you saw earlier, we have gotten vegetables, but again, not at the peak. So, ground's a little hard.
Oh. Oh, wow. oh goodness. Sorry guys, it's stuck inside the there we go. Not a lot. Okay, let's try over here. It's obvious I'm not good with the camcorder, so I'm working on that. Let's try over here. find another spot. You always take from multiple areas to get the best results of where your, how your soil is because then I will determine what type of fertilizer you need to put in your garden. There's a series of different types of, of uh, fertilizers. There we go. Um, the most common ones are 10 20 10 10 10 10 we're doing so if you ever questioning what your garden is like um, look at sending off samples to your local agriculture uh, again ours is with the Oklahoma State University based out of Stillwater and they have multiple extensions around the area in the Oklahoma City Metro and to send off so but anyways we'll find out what the results are stay tuned well that about does it for today thank you for joining us today and what we did um, so back on the bad news about our garden well we sent off that soil sample that Leah talked about and it came back and it said we were deficient in phosphorus. Phosphorus, nitrogen, and potassium. Those are three key ingredients to making your plant vigorous. But we have the right amount of lime, so we're okay with the lime. So uh, they came back and said that we need to add 19, 19, 19 to our soil, 15 pounds per thousand square feet uh, is what we need to add is what the document said. So uh, we'll be doing that this fall. We'll be sure to include you in on it. Other than that, I did this for Leah. And the red lady. <laughs> well, first she added on to the chicken coop to give them more space, and they are loving it. And again, the nesting box, so they can have a place to lay their eggs now that they're laying eggs. Laying hours up two a day right now. Hey, that's better than nothing. So anyhow, please remember to like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. On If you're watching on Facebook, go to the, click on the video, go to the YouTube channel, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe and what? Hit the notification bell. Hit that notification bell and uh, uh, let us know that you're watching by hey, commenting, commenting below. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.